All right, so the majority of the nation um, a little bit annoyed since the National Water Commission's announcement of a po possibly possible rate increase. But of course, the regular Jamaicans are saying we'll be conducting island-wide consultations. Let's get the conversation flowing with Elizabeth Bennett Marsh of OUR, the Office of Utilities Regulation. Good morning. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. to Smile Jamaica. Thank you, Neville. First Thank things you. first, they have to get your okay for this increase to go through? Well, they have to apply to the OUR, which they are allowed to do every two, every five years. Every five years. Every five years. And they have sent in an application for what we call a rate review. Um, so, and, and it's not just for a rate increase. It's, it's a myriad of things, including um, guaranteed revenue, et cetera, um, reducing the blocks of customers. For example, we have six tiers of residential customers. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't know that. Um, so they're asking for it to be compressed to three. G give me the six tiers, please. You're putting me on the spot. You know, oh, you remember I don't them? know all of those. No, I know one of them. I know yeah. the lifeline rate is zero. We can't really consume zero gallons, but okay. zero to 2,000 gallons, that's what we call the lifeline rate. Okay. So they're asking like, for a 5% increase. For, the, for that tier of customers, and then it goes up. Okay. Um, so pay. again, they need your okay. You have to okay this. We already. have to do our analysis, yeah. and part of our analysis of it is to go to their customers, and so we're having some. The analysis would be based on 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 what? A myriad of things, because um, we have to look at the quality of service that they're offering. Um, we would have set some some. Um, some targets in our 2013-2018 tariff review for them that we had done. So we'll be reviewing how they're measuring up against um, those measures that we had put in place for them. Uh, we'll also be looking at uh, their balance sheet and what they're asking for because they say it's to improve their operations. Uh, we know they have to do some capital expenditure work, etc. So we have to put everything in the mix. Mm. Mm. So... <clears throat> I was going to ask that in terms of, are, you say they're saying they're doing it to improve service. Do they have to outline to you exactly what that means, if it's going to be? Yes, okay. it, it, it is a very weighty document that they have submitted. It's, it's not just a two-page document. We have compressed it into a nice two-page document so that people can go on and, and see what are the major things that they're asking for. Right. But certainly it's in excess of 100 pages. Mm -hmm. Um, where they have to provide all the supporting evidence um, to support their, one, their justification. One of the things they're raising is the introduction of sewage service charges. Yes. Um, which I don't know if a lot of people know NWC provides that service. Yes, I think people would know that. They yes, that I mean, I think people know. You know that there's a sewage service. What? Yeah, I'm a course. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> well, yes. when I read my bill, I just pay it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's one of the things that they want to, to um, they say it's a fixed cost of providing customers with search service, and I think that's one of the areas that they want to, to address as well. Right. Why? So well, do you look at it and say, well, this don't make no sense before even coming to the yes. public? But as you can appreciate, Delia, I can't really discuss the merits or demerits. No. Okay, so I'm saying, are there points, because though, take that out of it. but are there yeah. points that the OUR themselves will look at and say, well, I'm not even bringing this to the public because... This has no merit. No, we're bringing everything, and, 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 oh. and thank you for raising that, because we are not, when we go out on the road to the people, we are not the ones who will be making the case for the NWC. It's the NWC. We're mainly facilitating these meetings. Mm -hmm. um, the OER is mainly organizing them. The main presentation will come from the NWC executives who will speak with the people, tell them exactly what they're asking for, why they're asking for it, and what are their plans for the parish. Yeah. They have to talk about the parish improvement I, plans. Sorry, because I see one of the things is an increase in the first block of commercial condominiums and schools, schools. Uh -huh. rate categories by 36% for water and 46% for sewage. Yes. Master Royal must say a whole in head. <laughs> um, the last increase would have been five years ago? It would have been five years ago, yes. So, um, and I'm not batting here for anyone, but the, the fact that everything has gone up in five years, um, they're losing stuff because people stealing Yes. Not only water, but infrastructure. Infrastructure as well. Would it not be, I mean, reasonable for the NWC to say, well, yeah, we kind of need an increase now. Is, is, is the issue the increase or the amount or both? 
I don't know what that's what we want to assess. That's why we're having our consultations because we want to get to the heart of what are the major issues that persons are facing. I mean, certainly we have heard um, some people are really talking about the level of increase that they're asking for, which is understandable. Um, we expected that, but we really want them to contribute to the process yeah. by giving us meaningful feedback. And that's why we have given you a two page document to say to persons, go on our website. Yeah oer.org.jm and look at that two-page um, summary so that you know what they're asking for so you're in a better position to comment yeah. on it. A um, couple, of, couple of questions. One, do you know, can you remember what the increase was the last time they got, the percentage The last wise? time I think it was an overall 13% increase. 13. Yes, they had asked for about 19% at the time. They, yeah. We had granted an overall 13%. Okay. What if you go to the public and they will always say no? We, we don't want no increase. Argument well, done. And that when got through the points, no, no increase. Well, and you go to the other, the other said no. And you go to Benji, Benji said no. And everybody said no. Yes. Does that follow that the OUR going to say no? Not necessarily, because the OUR is an economic regulator. So we have to look at all the factors. Then why go to the public? Because we want to hear what they're thinking. So it can't just be a case of because the public says no, so you can't get it. We, we have to do more assessment. However, one of the most significant impact uh, inputs that the customer can make is on the quality of service. So for example, during the last set of consultations we did five years ago, we developed three new guaranteed standards based on the feedback from the customers, holding the NWC more accountable to the quality of service that the customers and are I, getting. I accept that, but um, I can't think of anybody in the, in the world yes. that would say, okay, to an increase in anything. Yes. So, you'll be surprised, you know, because the last set of consultations that we had for the NWC, there were actually people who were saying that they understand why the NWC had to get an increase, and they're all for it, but the service. Right. So there are people who who won't just say no. Is there a monitoring aspect of it? So if NWC says we want an increase because we want to do A, B, C. Is there something that monitors them there to is. make sure ABC is done? There is. We do have monitoring mechanisms within the OUR. For example, we do have quarterly reports. How do they perform against the guaranteed standards, for example? We had developed in the 2013, 2018 determination uh, what we call the K factor, which is a line item on every one of our bills, where we're paying to, um, to fund the capital infrastructure projects by the NWC. But those capital projects have to be approved by the OUR. And so we are monitoring that as well. So that's the K-Factor Fund. Mm -hmm. So we do put mechanisms in place to monitor. Yeah. Again, I don't know if you can remember. You said they asked for 19. You gave them 13. Why? Why did you not give them the 19? Uh, it's, it's not as simple as you ask for 90, we give you 30. We have to break down. We have to do a, 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 um, a breakdown of it and then we'd have assessed it and then we'd have said, based on our determination, you get this, you get that. And based on the overall decision, right. then it would be an accumulated 13%. If it does 13%. happen, if, we, if you do give the okay, for want of a better word, when will it happen? We have given ourselves between 90 and 120 days to um, assess their application. Months. Yes, yeah. three months to four months. Yeah. Uh, and they had submitted their application October 2. So, um, so that's about January. About February. About January, they're February. About, right. Okay. Right. Okay. Ooh. That's not too far away. Mm. That's not too far away. From, but from your experience, um, what do you think might happen? I'm asking a person. I have no idea. I, we have an excellent team of analysts. We have economists. We have engineers. We do field studies. We do, they are doing their thing. And on my side, we're doing our thing in terms of getting persons to, to comment. Yeah. Um, you have your e we have an email address that we have set up, nwctariff at our.org.jm. We want people to comment via that. We're going to be developing a hashtag as well. We have meetings starting in Kingston at Meadowbrook next week, Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. This people is what to we're looking out. at. And then yes. Portmore, and then November Portmore, 6. November 8, May, yes. November 8. Right. Hanover, November 13. Yes. Port Antonio, November 20 and May Pen number about 22. And this, this is where you'll get your feedback from. This is one of the major ways in which we'll get our feedback. Can feedback happen online as well? 
Yes, we have set up the, the email, as I said before. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing the hashtag for persons who would rather give their comments, comments. by social media and so on. So we're trying to reach persons where they're most comfortable. We'll also be meeting with um, some of their largest block of customers, which is in the business community, yeah. etc. We'll be meeting with the consumer advocacy, advocacy groups in separate meetings as well. So we're, we're the going to The questions would be what? Wide range. Certainly it wouldn't be just whether they must get an increase or not. So the questions... We'll the questions right. will come from the people. The, as I said before, the end of it, the OUR is really just facilitating okay, the okay, meeting. Okay, I understand. The NWC right. will be making a very detailed presentation okay. to their customers, okay. and then, then the we're, so we're then dedicating. I would be able to ask the NCB person why me, yes. me, me add no water and wait, 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 wait. for personal issues. Um, we we have a help desk. We have asked the NWC to make sure that they have help desks at okay. all of the consultations, so that if you have a one on one issue, then you can always go Don't to that help desk. Go, go block out people um, and meet in your if you have general issues that you want to raise that impacts your community or general comments on the tariff, then certainly we're going to engage yeah. you on the floor. I ask them when I'm dig up a road, so. Yeah, thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank All you right, for having me. There you me. go. Um, Elizabeth Bennett Marsh of the OUR Office of <laughs> Utilities <laughs> Regulation. <laughs> no, oh, wow. No, it's no, a fun morning. Yeah, it's a good we'll thing. be I back. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> so Stay cool. with us.